It's coming out of the south. Do south. Tied me up some Briminators. Three of them. Good fly. My friend JMO says that uh, Briminators work. So I looked them up on the internet and tied me three of them. Small ones. I fixed my four weight fly rod this morning and I really need to test the repair it's kind of a unique way of fixing it. it looks good though we'll see if it holds together on the pond all right we're just gonna fish just a little bit Right up here, just a little bit of fishing. I don't have a lot of time. I stayed late at work. Oh, I just wasn't in much of a hurry to get anything done. I had my boots. I think I do. I think I have my cowboy boots in here. That's where it broke. That is where it broke. Right there. You can see I wrapped it. I actually put a sewing needle up inside there and then reinforced it with super glue and nail polish and all that. We'll see if it'll hold up. It may be too brittle. Well, you can see that, but that's a Briminator. That's a single feather Briminator. I like the color of it, so I used a single feather bead chain. I, normally, you use a dubbing for the body or some sort of chenille, but I just use the feather itself. There we go. Tell you what, let me get my hemostats. Horse fly in my car. Put my rack on there. I reversed my boat and that works a whole lot better. <laughs> Makes the back easier to deal with. Alright, got my hemostats. A thick pair of them. Lost all the other pairs. Alright, sun is down. I got just a few minutes, but that ought to be enough to let me know if a Briminator is going to work. Should be a relatively slow sinking fly. I use big fly so much of the time. A little difficulty going back to the tiny stuff. Sunfish getter. Or some, I think I got 12 pound tippet on here. <laughs> it's a little heavy. <laughs> See if anything wants to take a whack at it. Well, the rod doesn't feel any different. It didn't add any weight to it. Nothing of consequence, anyway. Oh, oh, there's bumps. This is a tiny hook. Probably a 12, maybe. Maybe a 10. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at that. What have I got? Must be a bass. It's got to be a bass. It is. <laughs> okay, so Briminator works for bass, too. This is a tiny hook. So that's a big fish for a tiny fly. Oh, there we go. Oh, Lord. And he got it deep. Okay, so Briminator's a good fly. Just like Jane Moe said it was. Oh, it's always good when you get affirmation of a fly working right off the bat. 
Even before it got dark. Well, let's catch another one, shall we? I'm gonna try anyway. I'm gonna get my fly line out of my brush. I noticed that very few fish will second guess a very small fly. And if, if I'm guilty of anything, it's because I always use big flies when, you know, that Lano bug I caught that big bass on, that's a small fly. That's a big version of a small fly. But, I don't know. It don't matter. Catch fish. That's the idea. Oh, there's another one. Now that's fighting like a brim. Oh, that must have been a brim. That was fighting like a brimmy. Ain't got no catfish in here. That definitely fought like a brim. Good one. Make sure I'm not messed up. This thing is supposed to mimic a dragonfly nymph. Or a damselfly nymph. Don't, don't look like much, does it? Ain't much to it. <laughs> a small hook, bead chain, and a feather. And some thread. You get my three weight back. Brother borrowed it, went to Colorado, and I haven't got it back yet. My nephew's got it. My nephew Harrison's got it. Got three of my fly rods. Look at that whopper. He took the Briminator. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Just got a whiff of Mr. Skunky Skunk. Must be over there somewhere. Yeah, that or he's real close. I thought I heard something back in those bushes when I got here. I assumed it was an armadillo. Yeah, let's see. A couple more. A couple more good casts, and then I'm gonna call it a day. I am so dad burned tired. Should have just enough time to throw a little lano bug a few times. I can still see it on the light side. Let's see if they like it. I keep coming back in these shallow water. There's a little... There's something underneath it. Picking at it. That's good. Probably should do a popper dropper. Put a bigger lano bug and then underneath that put a briminator. Oh, what's that? A little bitty fish. Wind's laying up just a little. Now it feels really nice. Bitty, teeny tiny fish just love this thing. Let's see if anything will come up from the deeper water. See that little bug swimming? I bet I'll pick up a bass or two. This is the smallest one I tied. It's got that number, probably a eight or ten. Boom! It, oh, I pulled it away from. Him. That was a bass. <laughs> I need to be throwing one that's got a bigger hook. Ooh, that one! I just saw something turn on it. It's underneath it. Fishy, fishy. Don't be shy. Uh oh, who's calling me? Oh, let's see. Cool. 
There we go. A little brimmer. A little brim, maybe. Yep. What I do is put it out there now. They'll start gathering up underneath this thing. Yep. Hello. Thanks for coming. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Boom, there's a second one. Oh, 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 that bass tried to get that little brim. <laughs> oh, oh, do you see that? Man, that was cool. That bass was coming after that brim. Oh, there, okay. You get back in the water. Well, don't just sit there. It'll recover in a second. See if we can't get that bass to pick this thing up. I'm going to be able to hang on to him, but boy, they like this bug. There you go. Now you're headed in the right direction. Come on. Come on. I know there should be more of them in here. Now let's put it out in the sunny side. Well, that's bright, isn't it? Oh, got one messing with it. You'll see that pretty well, can't you? That's pretty good for 20 minutes fishing, huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Poor fish! <laughs> oh no! That fish came with it. He's back there in the weed somewhere. <laughs> I just turned into a rescue. <laughs> He'll flap around, I'll find him. It's a little bitty fish. Oh, and it's too dark. Where'd he go? Flap around, buddy. Oh man, he was only about three inches long. <laughs> Wasn't trying to, there he is. your lucky day fish maybe <laughs> I'm gonna put you back I got a big old horse fly in here Ooh, the grass is so tall I can't tell where the road is <laughs> not that there's a road here but there's a couple little fire pits in here somewhere I'd mow this grass but the cows are gonna appreciate this tall grass in another month or two All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye. Big old horse fly. You know what, folks? Let me show you how you tie a bruminator. It don't take but just a short time. I got some gold bead chain. Oh, probably, probably going to use the next size up in the hooks. There we go. That's a good one right there. I'll use that hook. You can see what size it is. And tie it up real fast. Okay, real quick like. That barb's already flattened. So you can do this in a number of different ways. This is just how I do it. Thread up. Take it back about to the point of the hook. You take a nice, and I like these pale, pale yellow flowers. I mean flowers, feathers. These pale yellow. They're almost tan. What you do is you take from way back here, you take a little bit of this. Maybe a little more. Well, that, that's probably good enough. But hang on to the feather. Take a little teeny tiny bit and put that in the tail. Oh, buddy, you got to get in my lap, don't you? I'm going to do this one very much like the video I saw. Little tiny tail, run it up, 
tie in some bead chain. And like the fella said in the video, which I've always done it this way, you tie them on first, then you cut them loose. Thank you, buddy. It's hard to tie with him in my lap. Alright, a couple figure eights up underneath. Make sure that stays in place. All right, now you're gonna need some kind of dubbing for body. All I did was take a feather and pull it like this. I went back to the back of the fly. I'm gonna palmer this, but I'm gonna make it. All right. Pull that forward just a little. Get it out of my tail. There we go. Head back with it. Get up in front. And come up to the head with it. And what I'm going to do is just roll this around it. And make a nice looking little body. Don't worry about those fibers going crazy and hanging out. I'm going to flatten them all down. Wow, that's coming out really well, really quick. Alright. Now I'm going to push it all back. Come up around my eyeballs like this. I'm going to turn that hackle into a body simply by going down and encapsulating it like this. See? Now I've got a body. I'm going to come back up very gently. Try to keep from crushing it. Now on this one I'm going to give it a little bit more lighter colored hackle feather and I think on my other ones I actually have too much so I'm not going to use quite as much just a couple of turns of this we'll get it anchored a few more and then just give it a very sparse hackle that is probably enough right there yep that's enough Pull those back, all of them, pull them all back, just to get them out of the way. And I don't want to crush them, so I'm just doing over the eye, over the eye, trying to stay away so that they stay up like this. There you go. That is a Briminator. And you just saw at the pond that, yes, they work. Work like magic. Also, it proved that my fly rod repair was good. Otherwise, I'm going to have a six inch shorter fly rod. So that wouldn't be, that's not terrible, really. It busted right below the second um, eye. And all I really need to do is take the tip off of that fly rod and put it on that piece where it was. It would have worked just fine, but that would have made it shorter. And if it doesn't, if the repair doesn't take, that's what I'll end up having to do. There you go. There is a Briminator. Very classic looking fly, isn't it? Oh, Briminator. This game got whispered out front. <laughs> cool. Let's get the barn closed up. Got the lights out. Closed doors. Oh, this will be a good evening to work because it's nice. Look at Buddy, he thinks he owns this place. <laughs> that is a pretty cat, isn't it? <laughs>